Hey everybody, happy Friday. It's time for Facebook Friday and this week we're gonna do Campology. I, I saw some of you say you have this stamp set, you want it. I thought it was perfect because right now it seems like everybody's going camping, right? Nobody can go on vacation, so camping's like the safe alternative. So I thought, let's do this. And I found a really cute treat that made me run home and make something with it. So you guys will just have to wait and see. I am gonna get started really quickly today because two of today's projects kind of take a long time. <laughs> I don't have to go anywhere, but I really hate to keep you guys um, for a long time. Now let me pull you up so I can see your comments. Let's see, I got a new device and I'm wondering if I can see the comments. Mm -hmm. Let's see, new technology. Okay, we'll leave it like that. All right, so welcome. Hello, everybody. Good to see you. I'm glad that you've joined me. I hope you've had a great week. Can you believe it's almost August? It's crazy. Typically, this time of the summer, I'm like, oh, yes, yeah, school's going to start in three weeks, but not this year. Who would have thought, right? My kids are not going back. School starts on the 24th, but it's all virtual. Sad times. Oh, well, August is dog days around here, but you know what's really weird this year? I had it pulled out. What did I do with it? This year in August, the holiday catalog is coming out. How odd, right? So just to let you guys know, on Tuesday, this goes live. So I'm going to be live on Tuesday afternoon at two o'clock, I believe. Um, and we'll go through this and make project. And then on Friday next week, I have three projects using three new things from this catalog. Okay. So that's coming next week. This week, I'm actually using several things from here too. Um, not the main stamp set, but um, some other things. Okay, let's see. I'm going to run through things real quick. Class to go. The Playful Pets, class to go. Hopefully you guys have seen the video. I uploaded it on Facebook. If not, you can go find it on Pink Buckaroo Designs Facebook page. Um, the deadline on this is not till August 24th, so we have lots of time. So if you love that set, you're going to want to get that class because it's really, really cute if I do say so myself. Um, oh, this is really important. Today is the last day to subscribe to this. If you want to get this um, in your mailbox, email box delivered every month on the 1st, um, you can only subscribe during July. So um, today is July 31st. <laughs> so you got to go find that. It's at the bottom of today's blog post. You can find it. And um, when you subscribe, you pay for five months and get the sixth for free. Otherwise, you can get it for free with a $50 online order. You can get it for free if you're on my team. And you can also buy it in my PDF store. Um, this August is um, the Peony Garden. And next month, starting tomorrow, is Tasteful Textures. And I've seen it. It's beautiful. So I will show you guys that next week. Um, how about Paper Pumpkin? I put my Paper Pumpkin together, you guys, and it is stinking cute. Look at that. I know it's backwards. So cute. Um, we were catching up on Umbrella Academy. Do you guys watch Umbrella Academy? Season 2 comes out today. So we rewatched it this week. And I was thinking, every time I watch something when I'm crafting, every time I look at the project, I then think of what I was watching. I don't know. The brain is weird. It makes me go right back to what we were watching. But anyway, Paper Pumpkin adorable tons of things um, left over in the kit um, you uh, of course get the stamp set and the spot and then I ordered the add-on and I haven't done it yet um, this is the add-on you can get to go with this month's paper pumpkin and it's a bunch of cards so you can use the stamp set oh you can't see it you can use a stamp set everything is backwards to make, and on all your little pieces, to make more cards, to turn those little postcards into cards. So that's kind of a bonus. Really get a lot of stretch out of your paper pumpkin. The whole reason I'm showing you that is because I have extras. If you want one, message me. I will ship it to you. Um, it has everything you need, except for the block in there, okay? All right, let me know. 
Um, Club Create. My Club Create started last month, or no, this month. July was the first month. Club Create is a subscription. It's $39 a month, and every month I send you a class kit. And uh, this month we did the Jar of Flowers, and I just wanted to let you know that if you want to join Club Create for August, we're doing the Peony Garden. Got five projects for the Peony Garden, and uh, it's uh, you have to subscribe to Club Create in order to get these projects. It's not a class you can register for. So when you subscribe, it's all through PayPal and you can cancel anytime. So maybe you want Peony Garden in August and then you want whatever I do in September, but you don't want October's, you cancel. But if you stay in Club Create for six months straight, you then get a $25 product bonus of whatever you want. All right. So look for that. I think let's look at today's PDF. Did I put it on there? I think I did. Today's PDF, pinkbuckaroo.com. Under the last photo is this PDF. Yeah, so look, there's a link for the pets class, a link for Club Create. You can go read the details if you want, and a link for um, the all-star tutorial bundle, which just so happens to be the same bundle, but this is a PDF, and this is these are projects, unrelated, not the same projects. Um, the all-star tutorial bundle PDF I get together with 11 other demonstrators and we all design individual um, projects. Club Create are all created by me. The last thing I wanna tell you is bonus days. And I looked it up to make sure I was giving the right information. Bonus days is usually all of one month, like July. But this year it goes through August 3rd. So that's Monday. So any order you put in between now and Monday, you're gonna get a $5 coupon um, for every $50 you spend that then you can turn around and use starting August 4th, okay? And they are cumulative. So let's say you earned 10 $5 coupons, you can use them all on one order um, in August. And they email you those codes. It's really easy, you copy paste into your order, okay? Okay. Let's see, today, if you've never joined me for Facebook Friday, welcome. Um, I always pick a stamp set or a bundle and create three projects with it. Um, and this week, I actually, you know, when I told you guys last week I had four projects and I didn't show you the fourth one, but I did post it on my blog on Monday. And I do have four projects this week, um, but I don't see it here. It'll be on my blog on Monday too. Um, so this week it's Campology. And uh, so we're gonna make three things. And like I said, the PDF is over there on my blog. It's free. You guys just click on it, pulls it up. You can print it or save it. It has all the supplies I'm going to use as well as measure measurements. There's a lot of measurements today for these projects. And if you want them as make and takes, I will send them to you in a kit that looks like this um, for free if you... Um, I'm reading comments. See what happens to me when I read comments? I forget what I'm saying. Uh, I'm going to come back to you. Was that Ellen? I'm going to come back to that in just a second. If you put in a $35 order, minimum $35 order by Monday at midnight using today's host code, I will send you a kit of today's projects for free next week. It has to go in Monday by midnight, Tuesday. I cut them and I ship them on Wednesday, okay? Now, um, you can't order from that holiday catalog yet, and some of you are gonna wait for that, and that's totally fine. We'll have another host code next week that you can use for next week's projects, okay? But if you love these, these Campology projects today, put it, make sure your order is in by Monday at midnight. Okay, let me bring this back over. Ellen, Ellen said, can you tell me again the tax-free weekends? I'm glad you asked that, because I have it printed right here. Tax-free weekend, you guys know states do this for school supplies, back to school. And not very many states are doing it this year, I think, because of COVID. Um, and I am going to post on this page, this group page, every day for those states that when it, <laughs> I can't even verbalize it, it's so confusing. When it's, when one of them starts, I'll post it. But I did post a link to this um, PDF for you to see on my page. So basically, today is August 1st, and it's, Arkansas, right? No, 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 no. Today's July 31st. Hello. Tennessee. If you're in Tennessee, your tax-free weekend starts today through August 2nd. And what's tax-free? It's most of the adhesives, all of the markers, including stamp and blends. Um, 
I can't even remember now what else. Oh, adhesive markers, most watercolor pencils, journaling pens, blender pens, um, the blends. And here's the other thing. You have to look at your state. See, not all states have the X, which means so like, so like Tennessee is everything on the list. Texas is everything on the list, but like Virginia, which is August 7th through 9th, there are one, two, three, four things that are not included, which looks like the stamp and write markers. So you'll just have to see depending on your state. So starting tomorrow is Arkansas. Um, August 7th through 9th is Florida, Missouri, New Mexico, Ohio, South Carolina, and Virginia, and Texas, Ellen. Um, and then August 29th through 30th is Massachusetts right? Is that right? And then it, they have a little few other caveats. So double check the PDF. Um, you can scroll down here on this group page and I, I linked it for you to look at. Okay. Um, I know that I'm going to stock up on adhesive because if you're a demonstrator, you also get a discount. So you save on your tax and we get a discount. Just another reason to buy the starter kit. Okay. How about prizes? And then I'm going to flip the camera. So last week, I had too many paper trimmers to give away. Had a lot of shares this week. You guys wanted these paper trimmers. So Sandy Perry, you are one winner. Sandy, I have your address. And Kathy Kirchner, Kathy, I don't think I have your mailing address. So message me, please, okay? I would love to get these in the mail to you guys soon. And then this week, I'm gonna give away baskets, basket of blooms, so cute right? I believe that that flower matches the punch that we had during celebration. Okay, so all you have to do is share the video and I will randomly pick two people next week from those who shared and uh, you'll be the winners. Okay, I think I've covered it all. I think it's time to flip the camera. I think, let's see. Okay, you know, okay, so let me just tell you guys, you know, I've been having trouble with my iPad. So I went on, I finally was like, fine, I'll just buy another one. I didn't want to buy another one. Got on Amazon, do, do, do. And their um, Amazon Kindle came up for $100. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to get that. So I really like it, but I'm still getting used to it. Do you guys have Kindles out there? Like, like this is a fancy Kindle. <laughs> That's a Facebook app. I thought Kindle was just for reading. But anyway, um... Hopefully that has solved my problem, except that it can't, my case won't turn. So let's see how I can set it up to see you guys. Technology. Okay, close your eyes. I'm going to switch you guys over. And I don't have my, my microphone this week. So hopefully the sound quality is okay. Hopefully. All right, let me get you guys in there. Okay. Let's see, I, it hasn't updated yet, so I can't really see what I'm doing. So hold on just a sec. Yeah, when I saw that it was $100 compared to what a new iPad was going to be, which was like $400, I was like, yeah, we'll take the Kindle for sure. Okay, here are our projects. Minus one, here's the other one. What's wrong, baby? Um, yeah, you can let him out, that's fine. That's okay. Um, so Campology is this really cool stamp set. I think it's a good masculine stamp set. Although, I gotta rearrange some things here because I'm out of the frame. Although, you know, it doesn't have to be masculine. What I <laughs> said at the beginning is that I've seen lots of people camping. Lots of people going on road trips camping this summer because we can't, most of us can't travel, right? So I was really thinking this would be a good time to play with this set. And when I found what I'm going to show you is in this box, you'll see why I was excited. So we're going to make that treat box, this card, and we're going to start by making this slider box. Isn't that cool? Um, now, this slider box was designed specifically for these trail mix. If you are a frequent target person, I'm sure you've seen these. They actually come in a ton, tons of different flavors and they come out during the holidays too. They have a Halloween one, they have a Valentine one, they have an Easter one. So if you wouldn't necessarily make one for, with a camping theme, you might make one with the other themes later on. And the measurements and all of the, this I'm gonna show you will be the same for that, okay? Okay, now, this project is, um, 
Well, it's a little more complicated, okay? It's gonna take us, it's gonna take me concentrating <laughs> to make sure I get it right. It has lots of, lots of things. I'm also using Palette Thoughts. I'm using this a couple of times today. Um, this, I ha we've used this on Facebook Live before, um, this, this wood palette there. I really, really like it. So we're gonna use that today as well. Okay, but let's make, let's make the box first, okay? This has so many pieces, I'm running out of space. Now, remember, measurements are right here on the PDF, okay? I'm using crumb cake cardstock. It's 10 and 3 fourths by 4 and 3 fourths. And we're just gonna score the long side. We're gonna do half. We're gonna do 3 and a fourth, 6, 6 and 3 fourths, 9 and a half, and 10 and a fourth. Now, just FYI, there will be clean recordings of these. I've already recorded them. They're already on YouTube. I just have to make them public. So if you want to come back later on to um, make this, you don't have to, you know, go through all the Facebook Live stuff. You can watch a clean recording. All right, so I'm going to get my phone folder. Let's make all these lines nice and crisp. Cindy Girl Scouts, yes ma'am, you are right. I was thinking Boy Scouts, but yes, Girl Scouts too, for sure. Hey Michelle. All right, so now we're gonna, we need a mechanism to do that sliding. So what I'm using is a cello bag. You can see I've already cut, I've cut several of them. I think this will be the fourth piece I get out of this cello bag. You can use um, any kind of, you know, plasticky. We sell six by eight cello bags, um, just whatever you can find because it's not gonna be seen at all. And I'm just gonna cut a strip that is narrower. Is that a word? Narrower. A strip that is more narrow than, um, than this section right here. Now this section is how we scored it, right? Half an inch. And then over here is two and a half inches. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna wrap it around. I'm gonna fold it over, all right? And I don't know how wide it is. It just needs to not be as wide as this and not even close. You want it a little bit skinnier. And you can use tear and tape here, but I'm actually gonna use my Stampin' Seal Plus and I'm gonna put it right here on the edge of that. Now, don't do what I just did and get a little bit of adhesive on your crumb cake because that will make your mechanism not move. All right, now I've got adhesive there. I'm gonna bring this over and I'm gonna lay it down. I don't want it to be super tight and I don't want it to be super loose, just enough so that it's gonna move like that. All right, so let's trim it. And now, I'm gonna roll it around this way because I bent all of my things this way. Now, we're gonna take this and put that adhesive down here, okay? And I'm gonna take, well, before I do that, let's get the other pieces. Um, you're gonna need four of these. Um, these are crumb cake cardstock. Let me look at my measurements. Two and five eighths by four and five eighths. You're gonna need four. Um, we're gonna make two sliders, but we're going to double up on the thickness. Now I'm going to use a little one inch piece of crumb cake cardstock to make a little tab to pull it. This is a new, coming in the holiday catalog, the Banners Pick a Punch. So you can see you're going to get different shapes. That seems like the wrong name for this. I don't know. Is this the wrong one? Am I telling you the wrong one? Because we have two like this. Hmm, now that I'm looking at it, did I use, this isn't the Banners Pick a Punch, is it? This is the one in the annual catalog. I'm gonna have to look at that. Is it? Okay, hold on, let's look. You know, sometimes you just do stuff brainless. You're like, wait a minute. Yeah, no, it is not the Banners Pick a Punch. Oh, hello, you can't look at that. The Banners Pick a Punch. Where is it, where is it, where is it? Where's my annual catalog? Hmm. All right, here it is, here it is, here it is. All right, the uh, Banners Pick a Punch is not yet. Let's look in the punches. They're exactly the same looking, they just make different punches. Right here, 
Lovely Labels Pick-A-Punch. It still has that weird Pick-A-Punch name. Lovely Labels Pick-A-Punch. All right, so that's what we did. Back to your regular, regularly scheduled program. <laughs> All right, so a one inch strip, I'm gonna lay that in here. Let's see, I'm gonna do this so I can see right there, okay? This is gonna be the little pool for our, our um, slider piece, okay? All right, now I'm gonna adhere that right there. All right, now come back over here where we were. Here's the adhesive. And I'm going to put more, what is this called? Stamp and Seal Plus on there. And I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna lay it all the way to the edge into that adhesive. Okay, get it centered and then give it a pull and see. All right, so we've got it and it's working. Each time I add a piece, I make sure it's working. All right, now cut off the corner, cut off the corner of this tab. Remember, this is where we started, half an inch. Hello, Mac, no, no. <laughs> he goes straight for the trash can. He knows I'm not, I'm not watching him. He's like, snacks, mama? All right, so I put adhesive on the back side, and I'm gonna roll this over like that, okay? So let's make sure, are we still, yep, we are still cranking, okay? Whoa, 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 it's a little tight, but it'll work. Now, let's get those other pieces and adhere them to each other. Mm -hmm. And now, let's look at it again. This is where it's pulling out. So this time, we want this one to go this way. So we're gonna put adhesive here. And we're gonna lay this on there, on that, that mechanism, and then it pulls like this. Okay, see how that works? Yep, pretty cool. All right, now, this part right here, here's another half inch tab, let's cut those corners off. We're gonna take this whole piece and we're gonna adhere it behind this card, okay? It's gonna slide right in there like that, okay? So, put adhesive on the front and slide it in carefully, match those edges like that, okay? So let's try it again. Look, oh, it works, it works, it works, it works. So look now, see how this is leaving us space for our trail mix? And you can put your trail mix in any way you want. You could use glue dots, you could use dimensionals, but I'm gonna show you a trick that I learned. Take your Tombow and just do a skinny line like that and let it dry. Then it's just gonna be tacky and it'll lay down and it'll stick. Okay, let's set that aside to dry and let's do the rest of it. Okay, so on this part where we have the tab, we're gonna stamp these beautiful trees from Campology. And I'm just going to ink the tops. Go right there and a little bit over like that, right there. All right, now put that back over there. Let's close it and let's make this cute little montage of goodies. Now I'm going to show you some sneak peeks. You ready? First thing I'm going to show you is the paper and this is hands down my favorite paper from the new catalog. It's called Plaid Tidings and it's a bunch of different plaids. Look at that. Some are holiday like Christmas colored, some are fall colored, some could go anytime. I mean, this one right here, that could be really anytime. Um, and I think that you're gonna get a ton. Look, I love that one. That's, I think that's my favorite. You're gonna get a ton of use out of this paper. Um, look, Halloween, wouldn't that be cute for Halloween? But not necessarily, it didn't have to be Halloween. I was just thinking, black plaid. All right, so plaid tidings not available until Tuesday, August 4th. All right. All right, you guys, hold on just a sec. It's super hot in here. You know what I'm gonna have to do? 
I gotta put my hair in a ponytail. I usually have my fan on high, but it shakes the camera. Okay, let's see, we don't need that anymore. We're gonna put that over there. Where did I put, here we go. I have all these goodies right here. So I, pick, I tried to pick some different pattern paper. So we've got that one and that one. And what about, oh no, hmm, will that go? I think that will go. Cherry Cobbler, and I think that's Rich Razzleberry, but I think it'll go. Should we try the orange on this side? I think we should. No, because we're gonna color that Cherry Cobbler. Okay, I'm just gonna stick with this. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna do several things. Here's another sneak peek. These are in the Pines dies. Um, I actually already have a class um, almost designed with these, really, really cool. Um, so I've cut one of those out of Mossy Meadow. And I'm actually going to snip the trunk off, okay? And then we're gonna grab that plank, the Pinewood plank from uh, Palette Thoughts. And we're gonna stamp it in soft suede. Hey everybody, glad you're joining me. All right, stamp that right there. Um, we are going to cut that out with a tasteful labels die like that we'll do that in a minute then we're gonna do here's another sneak peek I told you guys there would be sneak peeks today these are the stitched leaves they're really cool look you can do like a solid leaf or you can add in the stitching which is what we're gonna do right here with this leaf okay so let's bring over our die cut machine <gasps> you guys on Tuesday demonstrators can pre-order the new die cut machine so next Friday, for Facebook Friday, hopefully, mine will be here. I cannot wait, because my Big Shot <laughs> is on its last leg. All right, so we're gonna do that from Cherry Cobbler. We're gonna cut this, this palette out using the Tasteful Labels die. Okay. What are you looking for, Mac? What are you looking for? He is in here just sniffing around. He is very food motivated, that one. Ugh, I guess I am too, huh? <laughs> I like sweets and cookies, so maybe I'm food motivated too. He fits right in. Okay, now this tent is really cute. Um, my block is so dirty. Let's look at this. Let's look at it over here. This tent is really cute, and I played around with it but I wanted to cut it out. And I found because it has these lines and all this grass that when you cut it out, you lose a lot of that cute factor because I think all the detail is important. So what I decided to do is I'm gonna stamp it twice. I'm gonna stamp it in just memento on Whisper White, okay? Just like normal. Let's do it here. And then I'm gonna stamp it again in Memento over here. And it's not gonna fit, this is a Tasteful Label crumb cake. It's not gonna fit, but I am going to put it like that. So now, can you see what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna color this one and just cut out the tent and adhere it right there, okay? Pretty clever, don't you think? Good way to solve that problem. All right, now I'm gonna stamp the sentiment right here on the corner and soft suede because we're gonna cut that out. Okay, Cherry Cobbler. Now, I saw a tent on Pinterest that was colored beautifully and it she had colored it so that it looked like it was glowing from the inside, like there was a light on, on the inside. So that's what I'm gonna kind of go for. I'm gonna do Cherry Cobbler light all around the edges. I'm gonna leave that center um, white until the very end because I'm gonna put several layers of color on here, okay? So we'll go like this, kind of around the door where the light would be glowing. Let's do kind of an oval like that. Then I'm gonna get the dark cherry cobbler. The reason I went with cherry cobbler is because my that's the color in my designer series paper. Um, if you wanna know what colors are in your DSP, just look on the package. On the back of the package, it'll tell you. It'll also tell you in the catalog 
what the colors are. Now I'm gonna go back another layer with a light and that's gonna blend everything in nicely. All right, now I'm gonna do one last pass over right there and keep, see it's a little bit lighter than everything else, but it's not light enough. I'm gonna use my color lifter to just kind of remove just a little bit more. All right, and maybe up here too, we'll do like a little lights coming from there. All right too hard not too hard now I'm gonna grab my tiny scissors thanks Darcy I'm gonna grab my tiny tiny scissors I hope you guys can't hear my stomach growling I ate lunch why is my stomach growling I got a long way to go before dinner don't you hate that Ugh, so annoying all right now I'm gonna show you a little trick See how there's a little bit of white on the edge? And if I go ahead and put that down like that, you're gonna see some of that white. So just take your stamp and blend and just the light and just go over those little white spaces. All right? All right. Now for the Happy Trails words, I wanna cut them apart separately as words. Let's cut them apart as words. That didn't make sense. Oh, my, my new device made a noise that I don't know <laughs> what it is. I still have yet to figure out how to turn the sound off on that thing. I can hear it in here in my office in the evenings, and it's like, ding, ding. And my husband's like, something's going off in there. I don't know how to, how to do it. I got to figure it out. Okay, so we're going to put that right on there. So now look. We only cut out the tent part, but we didn't lose all that detail because we went ahead and stamped it on there. Um, you know, also in addition, we stamped it on here and stamped it on the white. So that way you can color it, but not have to cut off all that cute little detail. All right, so now we need some many dimensionals, which are not here. Let me grab them. Oh, it did it again. It's weird, I gotta figure it out. I should have figured that out before. I thought I turned the volume down. All right, now look, my even my mini dimensionals aren't quite skinny enough. Why did I get three? I only need two. Happy trails. Um, Kathy, Kathy's asking, are you doing a paper and ribbon share? It's funny you should ask me that. Um, Denise, are you on here? I think I saw you. Denise is my amazing assistant who helps me with that. And I asked her just yesterday how she was feeling about all of that. Because you guys, it's a ton of work. I've lost my tree. Where did my tree go? Um, it's the ribbon part really, especially is super hard. But Denise is a trooper. She said, I will do whatever you want me to do. And so I think, yes, for sure paper. Um, most likely also the ribbon. I haven't even announced it yet. And usually I announce it on um, the month before the catalog goes live and I haven't done that. So I'm gonna look for that in the next few days, okay? All right, did you guys see what I did? Cherry cobbler with a dimensional behind the palette. Tree on the front in mossy meadow with a dimensional. More dimensionals. All right, right there. And I also have that adhesive kit coming. I just, it's so weird. I can't get to everything I wanna do. My BOGO cell, you guys, <laughs> I had planned on getting that done this month too and it's not happening. Hopefully next month at the end of the month. I just can't get it all done, which is a good thing because that means you guys are being good to me and ordering my classes and, you know, joining my clubs and stuff. So it's just a matter of getting it all, finding the time and with the kids here too. It's kind of a three ring circus. All right. So there we go. We've got that on the front. That's how it opens. Let's put our, most of it has dried, but we're going to go ahead and do it. We're going to push that down in there. Let's make sure. But it closes, very nice. Last thing we're gonna do to this is add a 
early espresso bow. Now, I'm going to warn you right now that you're going to see this in the future. I love this box so much, and I love these little trail mixes from um, Target so much that I am probably going to make this numerous times in the near future. I mean, if you find a good design, why not keep using it? All right. Now, this is over here, just in case you guys didn't figure that out. That is to write your message. Okay, and there you have it, a cute little camping treat. Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, family camping trip. How fun, how cute, right? You guys like it? I think it's really cute. All right, let's move that to the side and let's do our next project. I have no room for the next project. Stuff everywhere. I need you guys to buy those paper pumpkins. Whoever wants them, let me know because they're in my way. <laughs> they're taking up precious counter space so if you need a paper pumpkin you let me know and I will get it in the mail to you ASAP um Kathy's giving me advice there should be two silver volume control buttons on the top side of the Kindle so Kathy I did that yeah and mine aren't silver mine are black but I figured that out and I did that before we went live so luckily I'm not hearing my voice on the video but I'm still hearing the ding 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 I'm sure that's like in settings somewhere. Okay, next card right here. This card was in my mind. I'm thinking when you go camping, you watch the sunset, right? I mean, lots of beautiful sunsets when you're camping. So I thought, okay, we've got to do a sunset background. And don't look at this one. Look at this one. This is the first one I did. And it um, is the one that's pictured on my blog today. When I started this card, I didn't really know where I was going with it, what I was going to do. So after I was done, I felt like those trees should have been stamped higher because our lantern covers them up too much. So today when I was making my clean recording, I stamped them higher. See that? And I like that a lot better. So just a little tip when you stamp your trees, if you make this card, stamp them a little bit higher. Okay, let's do this. Now, I'm also using the, we're using that cam, um, palette thought stamp again, that same one, and the camouflage background. I mean, you know, I found what was funny when I started planning this is that there was a lot of stamp sets that paired well with this. We're gonna use the Buffalo Check, the Palette Thoughts, Campology. There was something else I had pulled out. Um, oh, the, the Mountain set, right? I mean, they go, they all go together really well. Okay, let's make our background. I have a piece of watercolor paper on here, four and a fourth by five and a half. I cut it the size of a um, card front. You know, okay, there it is. I cut it as the size of a card front. Um, and I put blue tape all around it on chipboard. And, oh, did I bring those? Yeah, here they are. Um, we're going to use, when I, I Googled sunset, uh, camping sunset. And the, the two colors that stuck out to me the most were Flirty Flamingo and Mango Melody. So that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to take my blocks and ink them up like a little palette. And we're going to use... I guess I can close that. I don't think we're going to need that anymore. We're going to use the new water painters. Um, Stampin' Up! retired our aqua painters and replace them with these water painters. And I really like them a lot for several reasons. But the first reason is that they are cheaper. They are a lot cheaper. And you get three instead of two. Real fine tip, kind of a medium tip. And then the one that we're going to use is this big, fat, wide brush which is great for you know a wash which is what we're going to do one thing I wanted to let you know I almost ruined these because I could not figure out how to open them to get the water in I mean I was doing everything I could possibly to get it I thought it's sealed I, I can't open it so I texted my lovely friend Kay and she said Erica turn it the opposite way <laughs> and sure enough I had to turn it and you know usually it's Lefty loosey, righty tidy. Well, no, this time it's not that way. It's right, turning it to the right to loosen it, okay, to get the water in there. So just a little, just a little tip, unless you're confused like me. 
Okay, I'm gonna do a water wash on here. Water, water, water. I'm just kind of priming that watercolor paper because we want the these colors to blend together. I'm gonna start with my flirty flamingo and I'm just gonna start at the top and work my way down. Okay. And there's no right or wrong way with this. You can try different colors if you want. All right, now I'm gonna get my mango. Notice I didn't clean my brush. It's okay, you don't need to clean your brush. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit more water there in the middle because it doesn't look like it's blending very well. Go up, and I'm gonna take this mango up all the way because I really want these to blend together, okay? All right, now when you get to your desired colors, you can stop and give it some time to dry. It's gonna take a good, I mean, if you're like me and you use a lot of water, it's gonna take a good, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes. But don't worry, I'm not gonna make you wait. I have one already done. And here, I take them outside and put them in the sun and they get dry like that really fast. So if it's sunny where you are, you can do that. Here's one that is dry. And I use this blue painter's tape, but just be careful um, if you use this and washi tape too, because it will rip your paper. Um, this morning, the one that I did, it had ripped. Okay, there we go, isn't that pretty? All right, we're going to cut this with the stitched rectangle die. This is the second largest, not the largest, the second largest. And I'm gonna put that on there and run it through. Oh, hey mom, my mom says she has a lot of different water brushes and most of them open backwards, which is strange to me. Um, the ones that we had before didn't do that. And those, that's the only ones I've ever used. So <laughs> I could not figure it out. All right, so there we have our watercolor. We're gonna stamp these, um, where is my stamparatus? I had it in my hand just a second ago, here it is. We're gonna stamp these trees, the same ones we used last time. And um, normally, I wouldn't use my stamparatus necessarily for that, but because we're stamping on watercolor paper, sometimes, because of the texture, you kind of lose a little bit of your image and the ink is kind of mm, washed out, doesn't look great. So if we do this with the Stamparatus, then we can stamp it several times to get that ink really dark because I want it to be like a silhouette. All right, so I'm gonna clean it with chamois and I'm gonna lay it on here where I want it. Now, Remember the first time I did it, I had it down here because I thought, oh, it needed to be at the bottom. But no, we're gonna put it up a little bit higher so that our so that our lantern doesn't cover it all up. Okay, Mossy Meadow, which is the background color of our card base. Mossy Meadow, I'm gonna stamp it once. Now, see how it's kind of light? Oh, mom's giving another suggestion. She says, put the painter's tape on your arm first to make it less sticky, and it's less likely to pull up your paper. Look at that. Mom knows everything. I did that with something else the other day. What did I do that with? Oh, I know. It was a sticky mat for something. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we better wipe that off. See, I wasn't paying attention. Because you know what, it's gonna happen. So that's gonna get on our paper and we don't want that. All right, so I think, is this the third time? Yes, nice and dark. Okay, now I'm going to clean that off. And I'm gonna lay, lay it over here now. Pick it up and I need to move that magnet up a little bit. In the direction of opening the pen, do that is why it opens the other way. Hmm, I don't, I don't understand that, Patty. Maybe it was user error. <laughs> it 
was user error. Everybody else is like, I would totally know how to open that pen. Not me. I literally almost ripped it apart because I could not get it open. All right, there we go. No, I think we need one more time. It's kind of like diffusing, Marsha. That's a good way to describe it. We have to, <laughs> well, I won't even show the story. It's kind of dumb. Okay, there we go. Nice and dark on that watercolor background. All right, while we have our stamp rags here, let's go ahead and do our, hey Donna, thank you. Let's do our background stamp, the camo. And I will tell you that we're gonna, we're gonna do this, um, this card background is in Mossy Meadow. But when I first made this card, it was not in Mossy Meadow. I had done it in Old Olive. And my oldest daughter walked in and we were talking and I said, hey, what do you think about that? Because there's something that wasn't right about it with me, for me. And she said, I think you need to do a darker green. And I was like, huh. And I did Mossy Meadow and it looks so much better. She's, she's an artist too. She knows her colors. That's what she said. She said, I know my color theory. <laughs> All right. Now I have laid my card in here upside down. This is the card front just so that I can leave it sticking out down here with the magnets. Um, it doesn't matter because this stamp has no top or bottom. It's just a pattern. Again, I'm going to do Mossy Meadow. Oh, Patty's saying, because when you paint with the brush, you tend to roll the pin the direction of the opening. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Hmm. Very interesting. Thank you for sharing that. All right. I'm going to do it twice. Again, to get that... Um, darker image. Becky says, I should be mowing, but I'm more interested in these beautiful projects. Becky, it's too hot to mow. You need to wait until it's cooled off. All right? Don't go outside right now. It's too hot. I don't know where you live, but it's the middle of the day, so it's got to be the hottest. Right? <laughs> I know it's hot here. Okay, we're going to put this on with dimensionals, but I'm going to use this foam adhesive sheet. You guys know I'm a little bit obsessed with this foam adhesive sheet. You guys, I did that survey yesterday asking you what adhesives you would like to see in the adhesive kit. And the top four are all old adhesives. I thought you guys would want to try the new adhesives. This one was number five. This one's for sure going to be in that adhesive, adhesive kit because you need these adhesive strips. See that? Sheets, adhesive sheets. I'm sorry, they're not the adhesive strips. The adhesive sheet looks like this. Let's look at it compared to the dimensionals. It's like exactly the same, except it's one big sheet and you can cut it to whatever size you need. And it reduces all those little, doot, 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 you know, those little things, a little backing. Okay, I can't keep talking. Oh my God, we're gonna go way over time today. All right, we're gonna do this quick. Where are my pieces? Let's do this little um, lantern. I played with this lantern several times and I didn't like it, didn't like it. So I, I thought about it and thought about it and decided that it just needed to be kind of rusty, kind of, well, rusty is not the word. The way that it's drawn, I had a hard time getting it to look the way I, I wanted it to look. So I decided to emboss it on this new cardstock. This is brushed metallic cardstock coming in the new holiday catalog and it's gorgeous um, it's very similar to foil except it has kind of a not a texture but a, a pattern per se like a like it looks like a um a dra you know a dragging technique if you do a dragging technique on your wall or something it looks like that and it's very very pretty so gold embossing powder on that piece um that may be the bronze color i'm not sure it doesn't matter all of them will work i'm also doing it here on this mango melody piece because well i'm waiting for this to heat up let me show you i wanted this center part to stand out like it's like there's a light in there so we're gonna we're gonna paper piece this together it takes your heat tool to heat up 
It takes about 10 or 15 seconds to get to the right temperature. And once it does, you'll see that gold embossing powder magically just kind of liquefied, okay? And then this one, we only need that center part. So I'm not gonna worry about the rest of this here. I'm just gonna make sure that center part where I'm gonna cut is done. Oh, and I just smeared it. Mm. Oh well, we're going with it. All right, now, fussy cutting. I don't know if Dawn is here today. I know Donna says she doesn't like fussy cutting. I'm sorry, I, I can't help myself. I had to fussy cut. And this is this is pretty forgiving because it's gold on gold, so you really aren't gonna see the this you know the details in the image. So just go around, just go around and around the outside. Don't worry too much about it being perfect. <clears throat> now the handle part is a problem. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut through it. I'm gonna cut around it. <coughs> Excuse me, I don't know where that came from. All the way around like that. And then I'm gonna cut over here and around and be very careful and slow and intentional here because you will cut the handle off if you don't. Okay, here, cut slow it down. Don't cut the handle off. Right there, there. Okay, now it's broken, so we're gonna fix it with a glue dot. Just take a glue dot, stick it right there on the back. Okay, like that. So there you go. Gosh, my hands are a mess. It's that chamois. Every time I use that chamois like that on the Stamparatus, my hands get filthy. All right, I'm just gonna cut out the center part. So have you guys gotten your holiday catalogs yet in the mail? I saw a lot of you saying you're waiting on your whale kit. Some of you got your whale kit. Um, Y'all, mail is awful right now. Awful. Um, it is taking twice, three times as long for everybody to get everything. So be patient. I'm not sure why, but it, it's happening across the board. If you need a holiday catalog, let me know. I'll send you one. It might take two weeks to get there, <laughs> but I will send you one. And on Tuesday, we'll be able to share the PDF. We can't share the PDF online until Tuesday. All right, I'm taking my Wink of Stella and just making it a little bit shinier. And of course, I've now stuck it to my tabletop. There we go. Okay, we've got that. Move that over there. We're gonna stamp that plank right here. Um, so I mailed all of mine through Stampin' Up to my customers, and I also included myself in that, and I have received that one. So I've received my customer copy. My demonstrator copy I have received also, too. It just takes so long, especially that kind of stuff because it's media mail. All right, so we've done the palette. This time we're just, we just need one plank on the palette, so I'm just gonna cut it with my mini trimmer. All right, and I'm gonna cut the ends at an angle. And one last thing, let's do the sentiment. And you brighten my path. Do you guys think I can center it on this little tiny strip? Let's see, I'm gonna try. Ta-da! Today in my first video, that did not happen. Now I'm gonna bring over that punch that I named incorrectly. Where did it go? Oh, it's right here. I'm gonna bring that punch back over again. The, what did we call it? Pretty label, pick a punch, something like that. I'll change it on the PDF so you guys will know. I'm gonna stick it in here. I'm gonna look on the back, right there. And now I'm gonna pull it out if I can get it to come out. Oh, good grief, come on like that. Oh, my hands are filthy. I'm getting my paper filthy. I need to go wash my hands. All right, I'm gonna stick it in there like that. So we've got both ends punched. And now we're ready to piece it all together. So, dimensionals. I think I'll use regular dimensionals. Um, oh, my daughter just left. I guess she's going to work. 
All right, two dimensionals right here. Oh, Mary Ann, that's a juicy bit of information. She says there's a new postmaster general that no longer allows overtime. Doesn't matter if two days, etc. all need to bring whatever not delivered back to the post. You know what? I did hear that and I did not make that connection. Huh. That is interesting. I bet that's right. I bet you're exactly right. That's why things are now taking longer. Hmm. Interesting. All right, so I'm gonna put that there. Thank you for sharing that. I heard that, I guess I read an article, it's been a couple of weeks, where he is um, not letting them, if they don't finish in time, they have to bring everything back to the post office and wait till the next day. But I'm finding things are getting stuck. Like it'll say on tracking, um, your package has arrived at the Dallas uh, you know, postal center, whatever. And then like five, six days goes by with nothing, with no scans on it. So I don't, I mean, maybe that's, maybe that's kind of related to no overtime, whoever's <laughs> sorting the packages. I don't know. This new ribbon is in a rimbo, ribbon combo pack. It's really nice. It's, um, let me look at the name. I still don't know the names. Basket weave and metallic ribbon. By the way, you'll notice on here the things in red are the things that you can't order till Tuesday. Except for that stupid banners pick a punch. I need to change that. That's the wrong name. Um, it's the pick a punch. It's in the annual catalog. All right. So this comes in with another um, pack of ribbon that is mint macaron, I believe. And ta-da. We are done. That was a pretty long card. Both of those projects took a pretty long time. The next one's not so long. Isn't that pretty? You brighten my path. What a nice card to give somebody. I love it. And each sunset's a little bit different, isn't it? I hope you guys like that. I've been dying to use that camo stamp again, too. It's fun. All right. The final package, or the final project package. I have packages on the brain. Let me get everything cleaned up and out of here so I have space. Get that out of here, get that out of here. And is Patty on here? Patty asked me this morning when she saw, or yesterday when she saw my sneak peek picture, she said, I bet there's s'mores in there. Patty's on my team and she's really good at coming up with fun treat projects too. And I said, yes, but it's a s'mores that you won't expect. If you've been to Walmart lately, you might see these, the Hostess S'mores Cupcakes. So as soon as I saw this, that day I was like, okay, I have to go home and make Campology Project. <laughs> Isn't it funny how something will inspire you? Something as silly as a Hostess Cupcake. So I have linked this on Amazon, but check your Walmart. I mean, it's obviously going to be cheaper at Walmart than have to have it shipped from Amazon. But if you can't find it... It's there. Um, and they are the regular size Hostess Cupcake. I haven't tried them. I don't know. Um, if you can't find them, just get it, the golden. I was looking on Amazon today, the golden cupcake, which is, I guess, their basic cupcake. It'll fit in here, too. And we've made this box before. It opens like that, like a little clam shell. Okay? And that's what we're going to do. And, of course, any chance I can get to uh, make my... Um, or to use my Buffalo check background stamp. I have to go back. Debbie says Detroit hub was hit with COVID. So they're extremely slow through there. Low staff. And that's what I heard about a lot of the post office. Debbie, it's funny you should say that. Because I've seen a lot of packages stuck in Detroit. Um, Kim, I don't know if Kim's on here. She was waiting forever for several things. And what I send her has to go through Detroit. And that's probably what the deal was it was in detroit without being scanned for a good solid week we thought it's gone you know it's gone long gone where did it go we don't know that's interesting i didn't i didn't think about that either i, I don't know i mean i had i had a feeling it was related to the pandemic but yeah that would make total sense okay let's make this box remember the pdf right here second page i can turn it second page dimensions and, and stuff right here this is 11 by seven and a half soft suede cardstock we're going to score the long side at two and a half at five at seven and a half and ten 
turn it and score the short side at two and a half and five. All right, now, oh my gosh, you guys, I have nowhere to set this. <laughs> There's stuff everywhere. All right, now that bone folder that I had, do you think that I possibly would have put it back where I could find it again? No, I would not. Is it on that tray? No, it is not. I don't know what it is with a bone folder. I lose it all the time. And I have several. All right, well, we'll just go old school and use our hands. Okay. Now, we're going to cut all the score lines along the long side. We're not going to cut anything off. You might think, usually in my boxes, we cut these off. But we're not going to do that, okay? Because that's going to be the little lip that holds it in the box. So get your scissors and just cut up to the horizontal score line. Um, this box looks complicated, but it is not. I feel like this is one of the easier boxes to do. All right, now let me get my stamp and seal plus. Oh, look what I found, the bone folder. <laughs> okay, now, these little tabs right here, we're gonna fold in and they're gonna adhere inside of this piece, okay? So I'm actually gonna turn it to the front and put my stamp and seal plus on there and I'm gonna fold these in and press them in to that side. Why is that not, there, there we go, okay. And I couldn't line the edge up like that. Okay, now we're gonna do this same thing right here with these. We're gonna fold these in. Let's see, do we wanna do them in or out? I don't think it really matters because we're going to, well, if we did them out, yeah, let's do them out because then I don't have to turn it over to put the adhesive on. All right, so stamp and seal plus. You guys, the stamp and seal plus I really, really like. There is a learning curve, like with a fast fuse, but not as tricky. You just have to retrain yourself. Um, and I really like it. I like it a lot. All right. I didn't line that up straight, but it doesn't matter because I'm, oh, yeah, it does. See what happens when you use Stamp and Steel Plus and you make a mistake? <laughs> it's really strong. Why is that so off on the bottom? Okay, well, we're going to fix it. We're gonna fix it, don't you worry. All right, fold it up. I obviously did a poor job, look at that. A poor job of scoring straight. Now, there's the bottom. Oh, I cannot stand it, I have to trim it off. There we go, look, now it's perfect. One would never know. Okay, now let's take this, this is done, this box is done, so fold that over, and now we're gonna make like the lid. And so we're just gonna fold that into that. So, more stamp and seal plus. I feel like that is too many words. I need to just call it plus. But then will you know, will you know what I'm using? When I say plus, everybody will be like, what the heck is she using? All right, fold it in like that. Okay, so now that's your basic design. See how that folds over? But that is way too much cardstock. So we're gonna take our scissors and we're gonna cut corner to corner, okay? Just take your scissors and cut from one corner to the next. Like that. Now down here, we're gonna cut, not from the bottom corner, but from that edge. Okay. And this one right there. Now, is it perfect? No, but who cares? If your lines are not straight because you use scissors, who cares? They care about the cupcake. They don't care that your line's not perfectly straight because you didn't use a trimmer. It's okay, right? So there's your box. Let's put the cupcake in there. I'm all about done instead of perfect. Call it SSP ginger, that's a great idea. SSP, but I don't know, that feels like a mouthful too. <sighs> okay, time to use my favorite stamp, the Buffalo Check. Let's bring back our Stamparatus. And I thought I had another plate for this, but I guess I do not. 
So let me peel that off without getting that all over me. And I've cut half a sheet of real red cardstock. I am gonna stamp this Buffalo check in soft suede on our real red cardstock. Okay, so I'm gonna lay it down where I want it. I'm gonna pick that up like that. Thanks Donna, I'm glad you like it. I've made this box a couple of times before. It's one of those that I love so much that I keep making it. What is happening? You guys, look, what's happening? What's happening? Does it need a wash? Oh my goodness, what is happening? Where is my, this is gonna get messy, 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 because I don't know why that is not sticking. You know what? Okay, I don't know why that's not sticking, so you guys just watch. Watch me do something that I should not do. I'm gonna lay that down right there. And I'm gonna wash this. You know, I washed these earlier, so they should be nice and sticky. That was weird. Hopefully it picks it up. Okay, all right. Oh, it did not stamp well though, did it? All right, that's why we use the Stamparatus. So that we can, yeah, now it's sticking. Weird, it's sliding all over the place. I've never seen it do that. All right, if your stamps lose their sticky, give them a bath in the sink with Dawn dish soap. And they are good as new. I like all your suggestions. Seal Plus, mm-hmm, that's a good one. Plus, Catherine says Plus is fine. Yeah, Seal Plus, Seal Plus. Seal Plus, maybe I can remember that one. I don't think I can remember SSP. That still did not, I think my soft suede needs to be re-inked. Let's do it one more time. One more time. <laughs> Lisa, she says, it's nice to see these things happen to you. You have no idea how many times these things happen to me on a daily basis. <laughs> I am not at all a perfect stamper. Nope, I'm a messy stamper for sure. Okay. Let me get this out of the way, this out of the way, this out of the way. Now, we should be able to get all the pieces that we need from this one stamp um, if, we, if we are careful with our cutting. We're going to need two and a fourth square. We're going to need three of them. Then with the remaining piece, we're going to cut a stitched square. Okay, so I'm just cutting all of these like that. Now, I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna measure two and a fourth like that. And I'm gonna cut this, it should be right in half because it's four and a half wide, so two and a fourth. Now, we need one more. So two and a fourth by two and a fourth. And we'll save this because we're gonna die cut with that stitch square, but two of these need to be cut on the diagonal. So take your points, line them up in the gutters and cut them like that, okay? That's for those sides, like that. All right. So now we have four triangles, one, two and a fourth square, and one scrap that we're gonna cut with the, if I can find it, second largest stitched square, second largest. Oh, darn it, I hate when I do that. You guys ever do that? You put your thing down on and both plates are down. <sighs> And it will fit perfectly. And you'll even have a little scrap left to use for something. That's all you have left. All right? Okay. Now, let's put it all together on our box. Um, here's the top. And we're going to, that stitched, that stitched square is going to go on the top. But we're going to save that to the end. So let's flip it to the front. And we're going to do the square two and a fourth and two and a fourth then to the sides 
we're going to do the triangles. Whoops, went a little too far. There we go. Now the side. Hi, Stacy. Welcome. I'm glad you guys like this box. This is one of my favorites. I always go back to this. All right, so see how that is? Now, let's layer this stuff up. And you know what I'm gonna use is some dimensionals. We're gonna use a piece of the dimensional sheet. Put that right in the center. Flip that on over on a scallop, a um, soft suede scallop, scallop square. <laughs> like that I cannot think of that word and we'll put a dimensional there and a dimensional there and we're gonna put that on the top like that and now we're gonna make a little tiny tag this is a stitched banner from the tasteful labels dies and one more time I'm gonna bring over that um, tree that we've used, we used a tree on all three projects. Let me get it on the block. I did not clean it. Mossy Meadow Ink is right here. We're gonna stamp just the tips of these trees on here and we wanna stamp off first so that our ink isn't very strong. We want it just to be kind of light, okay? Then you're gonna take the words and we use these words on the first trays. Let me grab them, happy trails. And I'm gonna do that right there at the bottom like that. And now, we'll use a regular dimensional. Do I even have regular dimensionals here today? Yes. Right here on that. And then last but not least, thanks Shirley, I appreciate that. Last but not least, braided linen trim. Is that right, did I say that right? Yeah, braided linen trim. We have new braided linen trim in the holiday catalog and it is red and it is awesome. You know, it's like thicker than twine, but not as thick as a ribbon. So it's good. It's really, really good, really useful. All right, put that on there and you are done. This is probably the easier if you needed to make a lot of camping treats. This would be easier than the slider box. Depends on how dedicated you are. Um, but how cute, party favors. Gosh, that would be so cute. Um, okay, let's look at everything. Here is our slider box. I love that, it's fun. We made three of them. Well, I made three of them today. And then we made a beautiful sunset card with that gold lantern. Have I inspired you guys today to use our Campology stamp sets? I have one more card. Let me show you. Every time I make an extra card, I forget to show you guys. This one I'll post on my blog, my blog on Monday. I made a tent with the stitched triangles and I used the little um, binoculars. I stamped the tent on the background and this is, this is the other stamp set that went really well to the um, birch background stamp. Cute, right? So you'll see that on Monday. All right, there it is, you guys. Make sure you go over to pinkbuckaroo.com, grab the PDF. If you want these projects sent to you for free, um, you'll need the stamp set and the ink yourself, um, but I will send you all the pieces, the components that you need. Um, make sure that your order uses this host code right here, um, minimum $35 by Monday at midnight. If your order is over $150, don't use the host code because you'll get stamp and rewards, aka free stuff. And... Uh, and um, I'm reading comments. See, I cannot complete a thought. Um, and I will still send you those projects for free if you if your order is over $150. Yes, Kathy, was it Kathy asking to see the cover of the stamp set? Campology, it is in the annual catalog, Stampin' Up! annual catalog. All right, thanks, Pam. You guys have a great weekend. Let me know if you have questions. Thanks for sticking with me today. I know we went long. Um, and I will be Tuesday... We'll have a special Facebook Live on Tuesday at 2 o'clock Central um, just to kick off the new holiday catalog. And I think 2 o'clock. 
mm, stay tuned. I will send an email and I will let you guys know. We may do a little bit earlier that day. And then next Friday, we will do a special Facebook Friday using lots of new stuff from the holiday catalog. Okay? Thanks, you guys. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.